Hello everyone, I'm Desiree and I'm here to share with you how to get this type of international license. Um, it's a four-day review depending sa napili nyo pong review center. and But the actual exam will be four hours. So mga nagtatanong sa akin sa FB, how I got this, what is the process, what are the preparations I made. Um, fees, website, and other important information, and heto na po siya. I made this video to help sharing this simple information for those na gustong kumuha ng exam at may balak mag-abroad. Dito naman sa nag-work sa Pilipinas, na katulad ko. Maganda siya to improve knowledge about cost accounting and magagamit mo siya sa mga decision makings and reports sa isang kumpanya. So, first, ano ba ang Registered Cost Accountant? The Registered Cost Accountant or RCA program is part of a graduate program and is available to those satisfactory passing a university entrance examination of a particular country. So, example nyan, yung mga advanced level, international baccalaureates. So, ano ba ang mga topics? sa exam, syempre, all about cost. So, example are understanding management information, accounting for materials, labor and overhead costs, accumulating costs for products and services, budgeting for planning and control, estimating costs and revenues for decision makings. Particularly, ito yung mga favorite topics ko, CBP analysis, <laughs> variance analysis, EUP, dyan ako nagtagal, process costing, product costing, and other pang naalala nyo during matatakal sa undergrad. Um, so here's the process, how to apply, and the fees. So, nilagay ko sa baba nitong video yung link of site, like niat.edu.ph. Madaming review centers ang pwede mong piliin kung saan ka-convenient. So, personally, ang pinili ko po ay tanto na na top-notch review center kay Sir Rock. Kung kilala niyo po siya. Kasi, dito sa review center na to, lahat ng requirements ay nag assist na sila. So, mga pag-focus na sa review. Um, just visit this website, www.catreviewers.com so, with today's era of technology, madali na ang mag-enroll, guys. So, via online. Uh, Nag-enroll ako mismo sa first day ng review namin kasi nagtitipid ako sa pamasahe sa kaya hindi ko talaga alam yung gagawin noon. So, nung diniscuss na nila sa Rerout yung, yung process, so, kung, kung anong website, so, binisit ko kagad yun. And on that day, I registered and paid the necessary fee. So, tuwatanggap din sila na installment. That's the good news. So, next, what preparation I made to pass the exam? Oh my gosh. Una, syempre, ito na, diretso na ako ha. Tinignan ko kung anong meron ako to take the exam. Syempre, may kamay ako. May paa. Joke lang. So, I have only Saturday and Sunday to review. Um, working po ako from Monday to Friday. Then, next, gaano daw kahirap ang exam? So, nagtanong-tanong ako para pampalakas ng loob and luckily, sabi nila basta nag-aaral ka naman, papasa ka daw. <laughs> I mean, as in, mataas ng chance of passing. Mga 99%. Kaya mo yan. Believe, believe. Then, first day ng review, I'm so excited. Grabe talaga. Pero, one week before the exam, gusto ko nang umatras. As usual. So, yung reason, syempre, kulang na naman ng time. 
Kasi, 4 days lang yun. Four, actually, tuwing Sunday lang kasi yun, ba 4 day marathon. Pero, syempre, andun na ako, tinuloy ko na exam. Bonus. Alam mo ko, ano score ko? Bonus. So, sobrang kami ako nag-HD. So, mamaya discuss ko kung ano HD. So, here's the tip sa effective review. Una, may definite reason ako why you want to pass the exam. So, nasabi ko kanina yung mga mabibigat na reason. Siyempre, kung gusto mo mag-abroad, dagdag siya. So, pwede ka magpa-register as um, registered ko sa account at Australia. Yun yung pinili ko. So, pero sa akin, mabigat talaga yung reason ko kung bakit ako nag-take. No? It's a life and life and death matter. So, joke lang. Pero yun talaga. I mean, do do it now, not later. Parang ganun na ako noon. So, I want to take that exam to prove na kahit anong mangyari, kailangan ko na talaga i <laughs> um, Number two, list the topics and have it your favorite topics. Actually, pinili ko yung registered course accountant or um, course accounting as the exam kasi favorite ko yung mga subjects doon. <laughs> You have to make it your favorite subject. Lahat ng topics. Siyempre, may topic ako hindi ko talaga paborito. Doon ako nag-focus, nagtagal. So, I use some illustration board. Yung malaki illustration board, lahat doon sinulat ko yung topics. Tapos, inanalyze ko kung saan topic ako magaling, saan ako medyo tagilid. Doon sa tagilid, talagang nag-focus ako doon. Kasi kailangan may alam ako doon. Diba? Bamaya, yun yung mabigay. Pero sabi ng isa kong kapatid na bunso. Kung ano yung review mo, pag pray mo, yun na rin ang lumabas. Para, swerte. So, tip number three, huwag kang susuko back to number one. Pag kinabahan ka, gayahin mo ako. Balik ako sa number one. Ano bang reason ko? Bawal na ako mag-quit. Kailangan ko to ituloy. I want to pass it. I really, really want to pass the exam. And, kung ano mang kulang mo, kaya mo yan. Believe it. So, result ng grading scheme. So, nabanggit ko kanina, sa sobrang kaba ko, nag-HD yung score ko. So, ano yun? So, before I take the exam, gusto ko na talaga tong HD. So, ibig sabihin ng HD, high distinction. So, first, believe in yourself. Kaya mo yan, 85 to 100%. Ibig sabihin, yung nakuha mong grade is... 85% pataas. Guys, 85% pataas. Ang exam, ang itsura ng exam niya is 50% make multiple choice, pero parang half din yung comprehensive problem. Walang choices. Then next is 75 to 84% distinction. 65 to 74% credit. So, 50 to 64 pass. Then, um, sinama ko na rin dito yung five ways to study effectively. Sikat na mga technique na na-research ko to. Pero ang nagamit ko dito yung memory palaces. Basta panood din yung YouTube, five ba- best ways to study effectively, scientifically proven. So, number two, kay Painman technique. Hindi ko alam kung paano to bigkasin. Practice test. Tempre, hindi na ako nakapag-practice nun eh. Pinili ko na lang pinakamahirap sa kayo na yung sinod ko. Kasi wala na talaga akong time nun. Pomodoro technique, space repeti- repetition. So, documents needed per new procedures of NIAT on exam day. So, ito siguro i-prepare nyo na rin in advance. One photocopy of student school ID for 6 months naman na recently grad, diploma or TOR, professional company ID or, dip- or resume naman dun sa mga nag-work na. So, exam result. Sa exam result naman, list of Passers will be posted at NIAT website. So, yung exam result naman ay mabilis 2 months after the exam. So, may 2 months kang kinakabakabahan. Pero, pag nirelease yun ako, mapapalundag ka sa saya. So, all examinees will receive an email from NIAT together with the details of membership and certifications. So, yun lang naman yung dapat yung tandaan guys. Basta, prepare your budget para hindi ka na ma-stress. 
kailangan focus ka lang pag nag-review. Doon naman sa mga working, promise, promise, you can do it. Just believe in yourself, saka kung kailangan nyo ng tulong. So, pwede nyo kay message If I have time, I will repri- reply to you. So, syempre gusto ko rin i-assist yung mga kapwa kong working and gusto rin kumuha ng mga certificates, gusto magkaroon ng idea, I'm willing to help. And, sana makatulong to, guys, ah. Thank you. Um, by the way, guys, so, upon passing the level 2 or RCA exam, you can also avail the membership for Institute of Certified Management Accountant Australia. Pipiliin mo lang siya sa form, di ba? mag i sa sa'yo si Mia together ng mga details of membership and the fees you needed. So, uh, pwede mong itik dun sa form na gusto mo rin maging member ng in IMCA IMCA Institute of Manage, Certified Management Accountant Australia may membership din kasi na local lang dito sa Pilipinas so piliin mo na yung Australia yun yung tip ko sa inyo kasi ibang level siya talaga so in one exam you are hitting two certificates sana makatulog itong video and subscribe for more details